Okay, so when you've finished an industrial control system project similar to this one here, what should you include in the documentation pack, the pack that goes to site, that gets sent to the customer, whether it's a digital version or you know old school paper version, what should be included in that pack to deliver a complete professional system? In this video, we're gonna go into that. Okay guys, so now the final thing is to put together a site pack and print it out and create a digital copy. So what's included in the pack will depend really on, on your own preferences or what the site requires. But what I would include in my site pack and first of all, before we get into that, what do I mean by a site pack? So basically a collection of all the design work, documentation, tech manuals, schematics, floor plans, etc. All of this documentation that's going to be helpful for engineers on site who are either going to be doing the commissioning initially or fault finding and doing service and maintenance work later on and also uh, the client for their own records as well. So yeah, anything that sort of comes under that remit really. And obviously it's good for us as the service provider manufacturer to have all of this in one place too. So in terms of like the digital copy, this will just be on a USB stick and also on our computer, also in the cloud somewhere. So USB stick, I would typically put in the actual physical site pack so the client can offload all of those files onto their computer and into their cloud system and backup system uh, if they choose to. But in terms of the physical pack, what I would suggest is just something as simple as this, is just get a, a see-through plastic wallet, A4, and then when we print out in A3, I recommend printing certainly the schematics out in A3. You can just fold them and they fit nicely to here so that's what I would do nice and simple not too expensive either uh, and just put a sticker on the front of um, the the wallet for appropriate to, to the project so that's the actual physical site pack now what goes into that is really up to you but for me I would certainly the first thing obvious thing would be the schematics so I would print off all of the schematics after we've done the the red pen and the updates. Once I'm happy with all of those and they're done, I would print all of these out in A3 and add them into the wallet. I'd create two copies of the schematics, one neat copy for the client, and then one other copy that it doesn't matter so much if they get dirty, and that's for the commissioning team when they're on site, basically getting things up and running. They're, they will get creased, they will get torn, they get covered in dirt, so that's a set for, for them and a set a nice clean set for the client. Now, the next thing I would always include would be the schedules. So the MCB, the input, output, and the relay and contactor schedules, I would add them in as well. They're just nice to have, easy for engineers to, to reference quickly. So those would be included. So the MCBs, the inputs and outputs, the relays, and, and the contactors. I might also choose to include the bill of materials. So if depending on how you want to run and set up your business if you want the client to always come to you for any parts hardware uh, if, if things break or need maintaining or whatever need servicing and they need new parts then perhaps you don't want to share this bill of materials with them it's not to say that they couldn't go see the part in the panel for example and go and find that online it's probably a better idea just to provide a better service to include the bill of materials within the site pack just so they can easily find the exact part if they ever need to to swap it out so that'd be the next thing I would also recommend adding in any floor plans and hydraulic schematics as well so anything issued by the M&E designer or the client this will be really helpful for commissioning engineers whilst they're on site just to get a, an overview of the project so yeah I would include all of these in there as well now tech manuals now I wouldn't necessarily print all of these tech manuals out and put them in the physical site pack because as you can imagine there can be lots of tech manuals and yeah it will just get out of hand and most likely not all tech manuals are going to be referenced anyway or tech manuals are so big you only tend to have to use or need one or two pages out of a tech manual anyway so I wouldn't be printing these tech manuals out but in the digital copy and the the USB copy I would put this folder in there uh, so at least they can uh, the client has a digital copy 
of, of all the tech manuals used. And then finally, moving on to the, the testing and commissioning sheets, depending on whether you've produced these sheets to say that the panel's tested out okay, uh, you might want to include those in there as well. And that's pretty much it for the site pack. Really, it depends on you, your preferences, what the site requires, what the client wants, but that's generally what I would include uh, in, in the project that I design and, and build and then commission. Mm -hmm.